So I wanted to talk about chromatic aberration in photos. Um, they can be really distracting and tend to look really bad if you kind of just let them stay there. Uh, and they tend to get worse the more you try to edit a photo. And so I think it's really important that if you are going to deliver photos to clients that you correct them. Luckily, it's not that difficult uh, to correct them. The first thing you're going to want to do is in your raw processing software, um, make sure things like chromatic aberration is turned on uh, that will just that'll at least kind of get the get it started and correcting some of that stuff and you know there's some sliders here to kind of you know do more do less um, but sometimes that doesn't get rid of it all so that's when you have to kind of do the legwork yourself and get rid of it luckily again it's not very difficult in your raw processing software. Now I'm using Photolab, but you can use Lightroom, Capture One, anything that lets you make local uh, adjustments to kind of fix this. And so I have a lot of chromatic aberration in these trees. If I zoom in here, you're gonna see these trees have these kind of like green um, kind of fringing on the outside here uh, that is being caused by chromatic aberration. This will often happen because you're using a fast lens like a 85 f1.4 or something faster. Um, so that is a situation that I have here. And so to fix that, what I need to do is make a local selection in the area that I want to fix to remove it. And then um, from there, kind of adjust the colors to get rid of that green. And this is a particularly easy scene because um, I don't have to be super careful with my selection here. Uh, and the couple here isn't like, you know, none of them have like green hair and, you know, none of them's like wearing any green clothes or anything like that. So it's going to be really easy to fix. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make my selection here and I'll just select that tree over here. And you'll notice that, you know, I'm not being super tight and careful with the selection here. I just need to get the general selection here just like that. There we go. And once I've done that, I'll close that out. Nothing's changed yet. Uh, I do want to kind of just demonstrate just, you know, where this stuff is. If it can be kind of hard to see, just kind of looking at it. I can see it because I'm used to seeing chromatic aberrations in my photos, but maybe you can't. One thing I'll do is I'll go ahead and increase the saturation here. And then now it really is pronounced. Now you can really see those green tinges and it looks really ugly. You can even see some green tinges on her. Again, this comes from high contrast situations using fast lenses. It's just, you know, a flaw of the lens and it just happens in all lenses. So what I'm going to do is basically the opposite. I'm just going to slide that all the way down and you'll notice it cleans up really nicely. Now we don't have that green tinge. Now, an additional thing I'm going to do is I'm also going to adjust the, um, the, uh, light blue as well just a little bit because it kind of contributes a little bit to the um to the chromatic aberration so i'm going to make that adjustment as well i'm going to move this down it's a lot subtler of a of a change but it's something that i notice and again it doesn't really interrupt her right so he, she's still going to look good all right once i make that change you know we can see this is what the uh, chromatic aberration there this is it corrected and it looks so much better when you correct it. So take the just five seconds to correct it. It looks, make your photos look a lot better, way less distracting. And you know, most of the time it's pretty easy to fix. So I hope that helps um, with your set of photos and uh, yeah, just kind of keep an eye out that for your, for your next photos. All right. Thanks for watching.